Our verse for today is Philemon verse 17. And this is a verse where Paul is expressing his confidence in Philemon doing the right thing and doing what Paul is asking him to do. And Paul says, so if you consider me your partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. Now the first part of that sentence or that verse is rhetorical. If you consider me your partner. Uh, of course Philemon <laughs> is going to say yes to that, right? Of course he considers Paul his partner. So the key part is the second part of the sentence. Welcome him as you would welcome me. Um, have you ever had someone stay in your home who to you was a very special guest? Uh, it could have been someone who was a part of your family, could have been a friend. Um, you know, if you, you look back in American colonial history, it seems like uh, George Washington slept presumably at almost every existing property uh, between Virginia and Boston, right? You have all these things, George Washington slept here. And um, when we went on our church pilgrimage trip uh, to France back in 2017, uh, the hotel that we stayed at in the Normandy region of France, uh, Jill and I were blessed to stay in what was called the Eisenhower room at that hotel because it was the room that uh, General Eisenhower, who was the head of the Allied Expeditionary Force in Europe, that was the room that Ike stayed at. Something special, right? So hosting someone important. So Paul is touching on that hospitality of that part of the Mediterranean world and saying, welcome him as you would welcome me, because Paul would have been treated very, very well by Philemon and his wife Appia. But he's being told to give that kind of welcome to Onesimus, who had been a slave in his household. And so that is a growing edge, if you will, for Philemon. Can we treat people who aren't famous, who aren't powerful, who aren't wealthy, who really aren't in a position uh, to repay us? Uh, can we treat them as well as someone who we'd like to impress or someone we'd really like to, um, you know, have in our home again and speak favorably and well of us? Uh, and again, this is a little aspect of the Christian faith that is very important. Uh, it's not just how do you treat people who can do something for you uh, through their resources, their connections, their um, influence. It's how do we treat the least of these, right? How do we repay people who can't repay us back? Uh, that is a real sign of our character uh, and the genuineness of our Christian love and commitment. This is why Jesus and a number of his parables, right? He doesn't say, don't invite the rich and famous over for dinner, uh, but invite the poor and the blind and those who can't repay you. Uh, and then your reward will be great in heaven. So remember, there's no small people. There's no little people. Everyone we relate to uh, is a reflection of Christ. And we are to treat them as we would treat Christ himself.